thank you so much. And it's really nice to see, well, I can't see you all. Um, actually, I can if I press gallery view. Look, there we go. It's really nice to see you all. My goodness. Hi, waving. Uh, this is weird, isn't it? Presenting on a computer. Um, let me give this a go. So, thanks for having me. Um, I was the co-founder of Droplet, which I, 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 would, I would love to say got like really close and then failed. It got, it got medium close. It got medium close and then um, partly the world collapsed over the Brexit vote and we had a fundraising failure and partly we just had pivoted too many times and um, ran out of ran out of steam. So I then decided to go into politics, but the, and I'm still in politics, um, I'm, I'm just full disclosure, I'm the leader of the Liberal Democrats in, in Norfolk as of Monday, um, but my, my startup appetite was never quite satisfied by, uh, by what happened at Droplet. And actually this is my fifth, so I've had one good, two bad, one ugly, Droplet was kind of like one of the bad ones, um, and this one, Pegor is my fifth. And I'm really pleased to be sharing it with you this evening. It's, it's very early stage. It's, it's way earlier stage than everything else you, you've seen, but, um, but here it is. So I'm gonna screen share now. I don't have a presentation, but I do have an app, an app to show you. Here we go. Hopefully that will, that will work. Has anybody here ever suffered from getting paid, their invoices getting paid? It's really annoying, isn't it? It's really annoying because people, people dick you about just for their own benefit, but also it's so clunky. The whole process by which people get paid, is so clunky. You have to, even if everything's been flawless, you have to have a purchase order. You have to put all that detail into your invoice. You send the invoice in to some random place, probably via email. It's like, it's totally unelectronic. I mean, it might not be on paper literally, but, but somewhere at the end of that email account, some poor person is copying and pasting data between different screens. They're, they're planning payment runs, like that's a thing. Barely, barely any different from when we're using paper invoices and checks. And yet, um, all the things that have to then happen to actually get paid are things that could be solved just by using a better product. And the, the interesting thing about, about FinTech in the payments industry, and, and kind of this, bought, this, this came out of Droplet because um, Droplet's chairman and, and one of the principal private investors, who's my business partner now and co-founder at Paygora, had come from a commercial payments background. And if you think about all the cool stuff that's happening in consumer payments, commercial payments is like, is way, way behind that. So, so he also had the kind of the energy to do it again and uh, to try something else in commercial payments. What we noticed in commercial payments um, is that not a lot had happened and quite a lot was happening that was kind of very, very sort of iterative in a good way, you know, making payment processes slightly faster or slightly more efficient or slightly more integrated. And we thought actually the real opportunity is to, is to replace not just the payment bit, but the entire, what we call purchase to pay bit. So rather than um, just focusing on the bit where it's time to pay the invoice, Paygora starts right at the beginning of the transaction when the buyer and the supplier are first arranging what it is they wanna buy. And um, what that looks like is basically a WhatsApp, but where rather than sending and receiving pictures of your cat, you are um, amongst the thread of conversation, you are gradually building up a thing that is an order that then moves through different states all the way through to payment. I think I'll just show you how it works and hopefully that will answer more questions than I can try and answer using words. So I'm just gonna sign in here. Uh, and this is the Pegora app. It's a web app, it's an RWA, um, and I am the buyer. And I'm gonna click here to start a new order. I'm gonna order from a supplier that is in the system. So both buyer and supplier have got the app for because reasons. And I'm gonna order something from Small Town Brewing. Oh, they're being rated 4.5, that'll do. Um, you might have guessed that I am a pub company, so the chances of me actually ordering beer at the moment are extremely slim, but I'm gonna carry on with this example anyway. It works well in conferences because then we can hand out beer at the end, but that's not going to work here either. So small town brewing. I want a barrel, barrel of IPA. I want two barrels. I don't know what the price is, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Click add, and then I'm going to click create order. So what I'm going to happen, what's going to happen in a second is that it's, it's quite shit to demo something that needs two people. So I've built a bot that will be the supplier. 
but the bot types very quickly. So you'll notice that it kind of, it kind of spaffs out all its thoughts at once. I'm not clever enough to make it sort of stagger itself. So create order. And here we are looking at the order state. Here is the conversation thread down the side. And um, the bot has already responded to say he's going to be dealing with our order, checking the price. One pound two for a barrel of IPA. That sounds extremely good. I'm going to immediately edit my order to 20 barrels of beer at that sort of price. And the bot has changed the status from draft requested to draft quoted. Now I'm going to type something here. Thanks. That's great. And hit send. So you can see it's just like a messaging system. This is really good for auditing orders because it means that every interaction is, is captured. It's not in someone's email or, or stuck in their text messages. <laughs> he's, he's, he's thanked me for my message. I, I lied. I didn't program this. Dan programmed it and I didn't realize that he put that in. So there's some, there's some to and fro going on here. Might be some questions, you know, just getting the order right. And at this stage, both of us can edit the order state. So we can edit the description, the price, um, and other things as well, subject to the customizations that we make for each, each client. I'm happy, and click confirm. And this is one of the stages that the, uh, the supplier also has to confirm. So imagine now they've got a little push notification um, saying that I've confirmed it, they're happy, and now I'm ready to confirm the order. So I click confirm order. Now at this stage, of course, normally, the, I'd have to go and raise some stupid purchase order, but I don't because Pagora has plumbed itself into the account system in my business and the purchase order is created as soon as I click confirm order. So there's no hassle there at all. And now it's over to the supplier to deliver the goods. And you'll see that the status changes are reflected here as well. Obviously, you don't have to have the app open to do this. They get sent into your email and you can just reply to the email and they'll appear in the thread here as well. I hope this is making sense so far. So now the supplier is getting in my beer and I'm sitting around waiting for it to arrive. Um, there is a separate uh, cut of this, which is to actually manage received goods, but it could be goods or services. Anyway, as the buyer, I'm the person that's gonna say, yes, it's arrived or no, it hasn't. And that's the real thing that accounts payable people want to know when they're approving invoices is, is this the right price and was it delivered? So as soon as I'm happy that's happened, I'm gonna click received, activate payment. And that is it, underwhelmingly. That is all the app does. It does the talking, the managing, and the confirmation and payment. But as well as plugging into the accounts payable system to create purchase orders, there is a world of complexity behind this that means that as soon as I clicked approve payment, my supplier received the payment into their bank account within three days. And we do that using a bunch of stuff that is arm's length operated through a partner of ours. Uh, we're using Rails Bank, I'm really pleased to say they've been absolutely great. And so Rails Bank handle all of the sucking the money out of the buyer bank account and sending it into the supplier bank account. And of course, my accounts payable system now gets told that the invoice um, has been received and that the goods have been paid for. And they can reconcile that with the transaction that's come out of the bank account. And what this removes crucially, this is the last thing I'll say, is the faff, the faff, both of chasing the invoice from the supplier and waiting 30 days and ages like that, but also for the accounts payable person in the buyer business. They haven't had to cross post any invoicing data into the system. Um, they haven't had to enter any ERP data into the system by trying to guess what on earth barrel of IPA means. Um, they haven't had to manage the request for payment, the purchase order, the invoice, the payment run, and they haven't had to deal with the angry supplier on the phone saying, where's my, where's my money? And so we hope that by taking the pain away from the entire purchase to pay process and putting a product, that's a lot of P's, into people's pockets that lets them order, discuss, and pay, that we're making a break away from the ridiculously complicated process as it's become of buyers and suppliers doing what they do best, which is doing business, shipping stuff, and getting paid. And that is the end.